ahead standout styles to support an important cause. Fashionable ways that you can wear red this Friday to raise awareness for heart disease. That's when Care 11 Today returns. It's become the number one health threat for American women, and that's heart disease. It's become the most deadly disease, and that's why the folks over at the American Heart Association want you to wear red this month to raise awareness. And now, I guess it's next month. I guess we haven't clicked over to February, but I'm thinking in my mind we have. Here to tell us a little bit more about local events and how you can get involved is volunteer Karen Cartman. Thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you. Just, just talk a little bit about what uh, some of the events that are going on. So um, we um, have a lot of events going on at the Mall of America, February 5th, um, in celebration of National Wear Red Day, which mm -hmm. is the first Friday of the month. Right. Um, we have a Go Red fashion show in the Best Buy Rotunda at the mall starting mm -hmm. at 2 o'clock. And we also have various other activities going on in all the other areas of the mall, the other courts. Are there any screenings going on or uh, health awareness? Or Yes, um, I believe that, that there is, um, Medtronic will be out there doing um, fitness activities. Okay. Health East will be out there doing some um, different health screenings mm -hmm. in one of the other areas of the mall. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there'll be a lot to check out. It's all free and family friendly. Okay, all right. Well, we've got several models with us this morning. So let's talk about, uh, are these some of the fashions that we're gonna see out at the Mall of America? Yes, they are. Um, Boston Scientific uh, has partnered with um, Minneapolis Community and Technical College and mm -hmm. the University of Minnesota um, and the design students at each of those schools. Oh, okay. Um, we have 10 students from each school that have designed Go Red Fashions mm -hmm. for the fashion show. Okay. Um, and we ask the students to design a, an outfit mm -hmm. that uh, means something as far as heart disease. Okay, all right. Well, let's start out with our n number one model here. Uh, yeah, the first design here is from the apparel and design students at Minneapolis Community and Technical College. Mm -hmm. This is Margot Beging. Mm -hmm. She's modeling a plaid silk dupioni a-line dress with a boat neck neckline. I'm going to have her do a little twirl for us so we can kind of see what's happening in the back as well. Okay. Yeah, this dress features inverted pleats with pomegranate mm -hmm. red insets for a great pop of red. The and designer then, is Lisa Pepin with this one. Okay, all right. And then we've got little pops of blue on the belt and the shoes. So very cute. Thank you, Margo. All right, next model. Designer Rachel Skidlark wants to raise awareness about health disparities with this look. Mm -hmm. She designed a tailored jacket out of inexpensive burlap as a focal point. About I, I was noticing the fact that it was burlap, and yep. I will say that you don't see burlap too often in fashion. <laughs> so, enough. very nice. Okay, it's yeah. almost kind of a hemp thing going for us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. What else do we have on this? So Rachel states that if mm -hmm. she can turn a burlap sack into a sleek suit, mm -hmm. why can't we turn heart disease in poor communities into heart health mm -hmm. by spreading the wealth? awareness okay. well and and I would think that this is very eco-friendly again with the uh, reusing of materials yes. and things like that and then a little touch of red up in the top and I would think uh, most of their models have a little touch of red someplace yes they oh. do all right yeah. well thank you so much let's see our next model final model is Rebecca Hillman showing off a design by her sister Lizzie Hillman and this is from the apparel and design students at the University of Minnesota dress was designed to celebrate the beauty of a woman's body by featuring her curves from every possible angle. This dress literally glows with light. Um, the luminous pink silk and LED lighting at the bottom of this dress brightly exposes the powerful light and beauty inside every woman. Now see what we need to do is we need to turn sideways here just a little bit so our cameras can get uh, a focus in on the bottom of this dress because what, what's hard to see at home right now is each one of these little balls has an LED light in it. So if you are in a low lighting event evening, let's just say, this is, that would, uh, you would see that pop out. But you know, with all of our lights here, unfortunately, it's just kind of washing that light out <laughs> altogether. And, so, and again, what was it, this fabric is? Silk and chiffon. Okay. And the shape is actually supported by a lampshade. Uh, oh, oh, I, oh, funny, because <laughs> I was thinking, now, for people at home, again, it's it's firmly attached to your hip, so that thing is yes. not going to come flying off. Right. Okay, we're going to ask all of our models to come back out one more time so that we can get one more. You know, and the, the students are really doing a great job with their designs. I mean, it's really fun to see what they've done. It's going to be a great event. They have 
very creative and it's uh, very exciting to see what's going to be out there at the mall on right. Saturday. Well, thank you and thank you to all of our models this morning. The National Wear Red Day is this Friday, February 4th and Go Red events kick off at the Mall of America on Saturday starting at 11 a.m. For more information, visit GoRedForWomen.org.